Hello and welcome to some more Blitz action. So, um, well, I'm going to see if my opponent, Johan Solomon, uh, from Norway, up and coming player, actually is going to play. He is going to play. Good stuff. And you can see that I've on purpose <coughs> dropped my grade again to something rather shabby 2550. Not too shabby. Um, just because I want to get back to 2600 again. It's like a bloody roller coaster. Up we go, down we go, up we go, down we go. Well, in actual fact, you know, maintaining it at 2600 is bloody hard work. I found that out. You, you play some crap moves, you lose a shite load of rating points. Yeah, so I, I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy. But I'm just going to play some games, have a little bit of fun, you know, see what happens. What about that? Should we do that? Let's do that. Okay, so my opponent is, um, I know, a very talented player from Norway. And he's one of the sort of new rising stars in Nor Norwegian chess. Um, you know, coming from the Magnus Carlsen baby boom, which we are all aware of. Um, I mean, Norway is such a bloody great place to be a chess player. It really is a fantastic place to be a chess player at the moment. Chess is on TV, chess is everywhere, chess is in the adverts. If you're a chess star, if you're chess GM, you get all the girls, you know, everything. You know, you're a celebrity if you're a chess player in Norway. Um, I actually remember going, I played in Norwegian League one time, maybe a couple of years ago now. Probably was at least a, at least a couple of years ago, to be fair. And I was playing um, for a team that, were good friends of Magnus Carlsen. And I arrived on the Friday, and on the Friday I met some good friends of mine, and we met up with Magnus Carlsen at a bowling alley just outside of Oslo. Really surreal kind of stuff. And um, the reason we met outside of Oslo is because they, they basically said, well, he can't really go out in Oslo because he gets mobbed like a, a famous football player. Which is just weird for me to think of that, you know. How many chess players are well known in England? I mean, I can't really see the likes of Nigel Short getting mobbed as he as he has a pint in London. You know, get all his groupies coming up saying, "Oh, Nigel, I love you, I love you. Give me your signature, Nigel." I just can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. So, I, you know, it was weird. It was just weird, um, weird, weird experience. And even though we're at the end of this bowling alley. Which is really weird bowling alley. It was like no, you know, derelict. They still, he still had some people coming up and say, and they said to me in first Norwegian, "Is that Magnus Carlsen?" And I said, "Yes, I'm his bodyguard. I'm his bodyguard. So be careful what you do." I know, you know, but we, we had some fun anyway. Very nice guy, Magnus. Anyway, and uh, that was that. Now, what, what, what the hell's going on here? More importantly, well, positionally speaking, I feel that this has gone well. It's a bit like, uh, oh, I shouldn't have allowed that. I should have taken here first, shouldn't I? That was a bit slack. As soon as I say it's going well, I play what can only be described as a rather crap move because I wanted to meet that with this move and then take there, but of course my opponent takes here, which is a, it's really annoying in actual fact because now my pawn structure becomes um, the target. I didn't need to. I didn't need to mess my pawn structure up like this. Um, okay, no worries. We'll keep punting, as they say, and always in these Dutch-like structures. Oh, that's oh, that is oh, oh, my opponent is just asking to be whoosh, spanked with that move. Um, and I'm going to do the spanking. No, I don't know. Um, well, there's got to be something here. Queen H4. He takes here. Queen F7 was always my other intention here. Let's stick with that one. Maybe it's not so bad. Uh, I mean, this move hits his knight, hits f3. So, okay. Maybe maybe this is not so bad for my opponent. It might even be able to go queen takes uh, g3 there. Okay, so he's gone here. Trying to continue with uh, queen takes d7. And how can I keep coming at him here? So I don't want to allow him just to take that one. That would be uh, very annoying. Um, okay, come on. Quick, Simon. You're playing a bit slow today. You're playing like an old man. And I'm not a good old man like Courtney. What am I doing? Come on. Okay, right. Okay, now, now uh, yeah, I've kind, of, I've kind of messed this up, haven't I? 
Oh dear, there we go, another mess up from me. Right, um, right, okay, not going well. And now this night's a serious issue. What the hell am I doing? What the blooming heck am I doing, people? Anyone know? Anyone know what the hell I'm doing? I don't know. Okay, well, okay, I've got to move quick because I'm down to, oh my God, 20 seconds. This is what happens when you play these Norwegian talents. Um, right, what is going on? That one? Okay, quick. Time to hustle. Come in here. Checkmate. End of game. Uh, okay. B boom. Bang. Wham. Bam. No, I'm too slow. Too slow. Stop talking in future. Oh, dear. Ridiculous. Okay, come on. Let's get it going. And I've got this check winning. A oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm winning. I'm winning, but I'm slow. I'm winning, but I'm slow. I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Oh! I've gone quiet. I've gone super quiet. No. No, don't do tricky little moves like that. Oh, you nasty, nasty player. Come on. Pre-move it. Oh. Take the pawn. Oh, God. And it's me. What was that? What happened there? What on earth happened there? Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, what a way to start the day. <laughs> um, uh, well, that was uh, that was that was that was just weird. I don't even know what happened. It just got completely mad at the end there, and that's why I love three minutes. That's why I love it because it's all a bit crazy. Okay, I promise you guys. I absolutely promise you guys that I will, at some point in the future start to play um some longer time limits you know because i'm just quite addicted to this free minute now especially as i've been having um a decent role you know it does help when things go go well so but i promise i will i will try to get back to some longer speed because you know they're going to be more and i'll maybe do some more videos about some tuition stuff like that so we can actually try and learn something rather than this crazy mental blitz stuff which i'm getting into but it's a lot of fun isn't it okay um oh my opponent's just said he's got no mouse he's got no mouse oh he's let the trick out the bag there no mouse is is that's a real that's a real problem when you're playing speedy gonzalez chess like this okay so maybe i can should i use that to my advantage no we don't do things like that do we okay um so my opponent has no mouse Okay, right. Well, thank you for that little bit of information there, Johan. It's uh, okay. Let's just throw this one up the ball. Come on, Harry. Harry's been very quiet recently, and I'm worrying about his health. Poor old Harry is, uh, you know, hasn't really been enjoying himself as much as uh, damn well should be. So we're going to rock and roll with Harry up the board, and this seems like a, a nice little place to get my good friend to. And what the hell am I doing here? Well, um, okay, okay. I'm probably even though he hasn't got any mouse, I'm probably going to lose on time. Now I need to get my rook swinging, but his knight's so strong. But I don't do I want to swap it off? It feels like swapping it is wrong. Um, so, okay, let, let's bring this. This knight's not doing a great deal there, so maybe I can try to. I don't know where it's going, which is a, is a bit crap. You should always have a, a sequence of events to. Um, really you know you shouldn't just put pieces on squares where they can't move which i just did there um okay what the hell am i doing here you know am i just playing am i just playing blindly like an idiot it seems like i am just kind of playing blindly i've got to come up with a plan they do say these plans in chess tend to uh tend to be you know worth considering okay well at least i have a plan now i don't care about the little guys over on the queen's side ari loves giving up his life for the cause so my plan is get my bishop here checkmate him in we come in like errol flynn so in we go okay this is much this is much more like it this is much more cut my cup of tea and we are known to love our cups of teas in england look at this bishop here oh yes thank you very much boom as they say 
jolly good show, old boy. And, well, the reason that's winning is because if he takes a pawn, knight f7 check is coming. Okay, so, um, let's keep rocking and rolling. And can I get up to 2600 in one short session? Have I now? Have I now got the gift? Have I got the gift? Um, well, we'll shortly see. So I'll play, I'll play a little bit more anyway, just crack on. And we're now going back to my faithful, my long love in chess, my main chess love, and that is the classical Dutch. And this is an opening, well, as you're well aware, I've written so much about. I've I've probably written everything that can be ever written on this opening, so I should know it pretty damn well by now. You can also buy the DVD, uh, <laughs> Killer Dutch, from gingergm.com, and if you want to learn this opening a bit more, and I might have even I may have even uh, um, I may have even analysed. Okay, I don't mind this so much because the light his light squares look. Incredibly weak if I get c5 in bishop here checkmate. Thank you very much. So for that reason, I'm not going to consider swapping the queens off because checkmate is the end of the game. And that is indeed what the hell I'm going to play. Okay, so now he's going to try to swap queens off again. Do I put my rook here? Can I sacrifice my rook? There's a lot of, there's a lot of, tell you what, there's a lot of tempters here. Now... If I move my rook here and get my bishop here, is he coming in? Let's just go here. Let's go here because my bishop is begging to be placed on b7. So there we go. There we go. It begged It begged hard enough and there it lands. Now, he's got f3 to weather the storm somewhat. So I'm going to try to open up some more lines over on the queen side. He has to play this move, of course. And this is why I didn't bring my queen to c6 too quickly, because I was figuring it might have some rock and roll to do over here. Oh, look at this. This is just getting this is just getting far too sexy for my liking. Oh, he's even give up. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. And to be honest, there's imminent disaster happening around here because something is happening on f3. If he has to defend g3. I've got queen g4. If he goes g4, I've got my queen coming into c. Oh, it's you can't. I can understand why he resigned there. So so far so good. And now we're going to have a little bit of English opening because I'm English and I like playing the English. Um, don't know why I like playing the French so much. Only joking. I love the French. French are some of the nicest uh, chess. The national French team, lovely guys, absolutely lovely, lovely guys. Um, can we do a weird King's Gambit? I don't know, but let's try. You know, out of theory, let's give it a go, just for the crack. Um, the first time uh, someone said that to me, um, it was an Irish person who said, oh, let, let's go, let's, we'll do it for the crack. And uh, it was quite funny because I'm like, what, you're doing it for the crack? I don't want any crack. And I suddenly realised that in Ireland, crack means something totally different. It, it doesn't mean the drug crack. It means we do it for the crack. It means we do it for the last. We, we do it for fun. So it's quite funny. Um, this person I was with was, uh, let's, go out and, let's go out and do it for the crack. We'll have some good crack. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't want any crack, thank you very much. I'm not, I'm not you know, crack's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea. And they're like, we'll do it for the crack. And I'm like, no, I don't want any. No, no, I don't want any crack. Anyway, that was I thought that was quite amusing. I realised they suddenly we had a, a long laugh about it afterwards when we both realised that we were we were talking at separate, um, shall we say, separate meanings. Okay, so this is a weird position, and I don't know. Let's just throw some pieces forwards. I have a philosophy in chess, and my philosophy is fuck it. Okay, there you go. I said it. Oh my god, I swore again. I apologise. If there's any youngsters watching this, what I basically mean by that, my philosophy is: come on, attack. So to hell with it. Boom, 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 and just, just like rock and roll chess. Um, and okay, I, I, my, my use of language there is probably, probably not to, not to the best. But uh, okay, but I've given up a piece for one pawn. Um. But it's quite hard for my opponent to um, get his pieces... Okay, he wants to castle this way now. That makes a lot of sense. And 
I would like to stop that pre preferably if I can. Can I can I play some can I can I play some moves like C5 but that might just open things up too much. If my knight comes in he will take and castle. Okay, well let, let's again just prepare for him castling this way. Um so at least now if he castles that way I I I have the A file to uh, enjoy. So um, now I kind of feel I should keep this on the board and I don't want to lose this one. A bit disappointing I have to block the E file because one idea was bring my knight here taken with the E pawn. But there is another possibility here. Oh my words, don't I have a bishop A4? This is one, this is certainly one idea I have here. Um, but he's going to bring his queen over. I don't know if he will have a great opportunity. If I take here... It's getting extremely murky, isn't it? Okay, well, I uh, I don't know. I mean, even, even, though, even though I win a piece with bishop a4, I know I don't because he's got b5. So that is most annoying. Very messy position, but I... Okay, I thought he, he didn't need to do this kind of stuff here. Now, is there any tactical opportunities here for me? I'm very tempted to flick in this move here just so he can't play a6 and stabilize that area of the board and now and now I'm going to come in here and hopefully generate some attack on the e file but again I'm moving too quickly not what the hell's going on my phone there either okay right come on let's move quick 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 okay so um is there any chance to generate an attack here uh, my philosophy has maybe not maybe not worked out so well rook g5 is a class class move here okay and now he's unpinning his knight okay well this gives me some potential fighting chances i would assume oh he's got here oh fuck oh that duck is going to be fucked oh dear that duck is not looking good oh dear i have to take here because otherwise he would have taken there okay 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 oh dear oh dear oh dear oh there's so many oh let's try to get the queen in desperation move here I'm going to try to sneak this guy in around the back but uh it's it's not looking it's not looking too rosy and I, i'll let him make me i'll let him make me so that's the kind of guy i am what the hell is going on with my phone shut the hell up uh da, 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 da. okay right i will uh <laughs> okay we'll make uh, we'll make this the last one i think because uh, i'm actually if you're interested in some of my commentary later on i'm going to be commentating on um the title tuesday let's finish with some i don't know let's finish with some king's indian defense the title tuesday competition which is on chess.com the best competition i think on the internet it happens the first tuesday of every month and i'm doing a commentary there so i need to get uh, myself prepared for that um so i'll make this the last game but yeah i just wanted to keep a bit of blitz going it's always fun to play this and next time i'll try to find a longer time limit maybe five minutes maybe maybe i'll even go for a you know potentially even a, a a bit longer than five minutes um so i can explain stuff it's very hard to explain in three minutes everything that i'm considering here now this is a normal idea i think in this type of position where you know you, you don't mess about you just charge up the board uh, it seems to be a normal idea it's the kind of normal stuff that I always always go for and my opponent obviously countering that by attempting to play on the opposite side of the board so he's what seems to be a pawn sack there so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to prove that a sacrifice right you can't play chess with fear this is one thing that I realize a lot of club players play they don't accept a pawn that's offered to them they don't accept a sacrifice because they're too fearful but, you know, when you play chess, you've really got to become kind of Buddhist in in a sense of the way. Because, you know, even if uh, you might lose horribly by accepting the pawn, you've got to be unfearful. And you've really got to think, you've got to think about any fear or, or prejudice when you play chess. You've just got to play what you think's best and the critical ideas. And uh, that's why I'm just going to accept this pawn my opponent offered. And it's also in the old days... If you refused a pawn sacrifice, you would be hung, drawn, and quartered. And we certainly don't want that to happen at the board today. 
Um, you know, this is when it was rude. It was considered a rude gesture not to accept a sacrifice from your opponent. If your opponent offered you something, you had to take it. It's like at Christmas, you know. You know, if, if you uh, if you get given a gift, let's say from your I don't know, I don't know wife, and you suddenly open the gift, and you say that's crap, take it back. Well, you would be you'd, you'd be in trouble, wouldn't you? And it wouldn't be a very merry Christmas. Let's put it that way. So um, okay, my opponent's now trying to sneak around. So yeah, he has certainly proven a good deal of compensation, but I'm gonna do a little bit of sneaky maneuvering myself and I see a juicy one there and when I see a juicy one I try to pick it um, just like a nice apple off the cherry tree um, okay so I can go in and take that one but as Nimzovich said the threat and I want to stop this pawn dropping on e5 is stronger than the x o q sh um, now, I don't really want him to come following through with that one, do I? That, that's really horrible. So if I take here, he takes here. I'm going to have to now pop back. And uh, now again, oh, God, he's coming at me. Oh, he's starting to scare me now. Chill out, mate. Chill out, you know. I'm going to have a friendly game of chess here. There's no need to go all, uh, all Rambo on me, is there? You know, don't Rambo my ass, please. Okay. So he's trying to he's trying to rambo me in in, poor, in pure uh, Norwegian Viking style, and okay maybe I, I I'm going to take advantage of his clock thing right well he's he's, he's quite good tactically this guy I feel um, because if I take well there could be some issues here I see a lot of issues already takes here God I'm so slow tactically. I'm so slow tactically, it's embarrassing. Um, mm, fuck a duck. Fuck a duck. Fuck a oh dear. Come on! What's wrong with you, Mr. Williams? What's wrong with you today? A bit slow, aren't I? When I say a bit slow, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to play something, so this is, uh, this is not the best move. Let's put it that way. Um, there's quite a lot of tactical things there. I thought I had to, sw I had to uh, cut this bishop off here, H hence why... I'm going for a sacrifice of two pawns, and uh, I think I'm just going to go into L hustle mode here. I'm hoping at the end I have a rook takes there, but I'm not sure it works now because he has knight e6. So um, I might have to actually take my bishop, which is which is a bit unpleasant, and somehow um, attempt some generation of pieces uh, like this. So, but it's not looking good. It's not looking rosy uh, at all should we say especially as he can just whip off that pawn um okie doke and now well okay it's, it's kind of kind of resignable but we, we will uh we'll try to play on a little bit more because i got a couple of pawns and uh you know a couple of pawns is, is quite useful and i'm gonna try to grab myself a third pawn and now now it's very unclear actually very interesting position here and I'm just going to push these bloody pawns up the board as far as I can, which is not going to be very far, is it? Okay, I could come in there. What was that move? That was horrible. Okay, let's, let's get this one up. Now, quick, quick, bring this king over, try to help out. Speed. I know he is running. Okay, pawns. I don't know. This is very messy. Very messy position here. quick fuck where did that come from jesus oh nicely done bollocks um okay well there you go um that was the end of that uh, i thought i was getting back in the game there but i kind of uh kind of just uh run out of steam at the end so uh okay well that that was a bit of a disappointing finish quite a strong start and uh, went downhill. So well played for my opponent last couple of games. Uh, I'll just say got to go. Cheers. Um, maybe I'll even try to try to find a, a picture of uh, my opponent if I can. He is, like I say, one of the up and coming Norwegian players. So I, I mean, he's an IM at the moment, as we can see. But he will uh, he will may well um, become stronger. 
later on. GM, super GM, who knows? He's very young, so time to improve. Okay, well, thanks for that um, video. Uh, video? What the hell? That's what, that's what I did. Thanks for watching that video, should I say. Um, obviously, all likes and subscribes are most appreciated. They help keep this going. And check out the Ginger GM shop if you want. Uh, we had the latest D4 DVD out there. And in the future, I think I'm going to have a little break maybe from the three-minute blitzes. Um, I'm going to try either long, longer time limit blitzes or maybe some, uh, should I say, uh, lessons even, some structured lessons of some sort uh, to help you guys maybe improve your standard. Um, okay, cheers for now. Cheers for now. See you later. Goodbye.